Hello friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video because I'm finally reading Fourth Wing. It's happening. This is going to be a completely spoiler free reading vlog. I hadn't read Fourth Wing yet because I feel like when the hype gets like to a certain point, I almost don't want to read it anymore. And that sounds so bad because like this book, I think it's like Goodreads rating is like 4.5. Like it's absolutely insane how high this book is rated. I feel like it's like I'm almost just afraid it's going to let me down. And so I've been really avoiding it. But I wanted to read it before Iron Flame comes out on November 7th. And because it's coming out so soon, I have been dodging spoilers on TikTok. Like, it's my full-time job. Every I have to keep swiping every time. I can't, like, the anxiety of, like, almost seeing things every single time is enough to make me want to read this, like, right now. So we're going to start tonight, I think. I'm really excited. Like, so it's going to be spoiler-free. I think it's going to be just for this book, too, because it honestly kind of deserves its own video at this point because... What is all the hype about? I don't have the physical copy because I am like a hardcore anti hardback girl. I'm strictly paperback. Um, my Libby hold that I literally placed, I think six months ago is finally available. So we're gonna read it this way. And I'm super excited. We're gonna start tonight. I have tonight off work. I'm probably honestly gonna finish it in the next couple days, but we'll see how long it takes us. I'm super excited. Yeah. Hello friends, this quality is awful because it is night now, um, but I'm about probably like 60 to 70 pages in, like based off like what the page in the e-reader is saying, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, a couple things so far, the chapters are a little bit long, but it's minor details, we're fine with that. Um, I love how we've already like met like the love interest who I know it's like an enemies to lovers. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I love how we've like jumped right into the action. Like from like the first chapter, so much is already happening. So I'm really enjoying it. It's reading really fast paced. Um, but yeah, the chapters are getting a little long for my liking. Like this one is 46 pages on here, which means it's probably like 23 or so, which I know like isn't that long. I'm probably being a bit dramatic, but I'm like still at the same time. I'm like, come on. I like, I need like 10 page chapters, you know, but that's just me personally. But so it's going good so far. I am really enjoying it. It's reading really fast, but... Yeah. I apologize for everything about this video. Um, the me being in my car, um, the volume probably isn't the greatest. The fact that I'm like leaning to be in the middle of my car, so this lines up. Um, it's a whole lot going on. But I didn't get an update this morning because it was just absolutely crazy. I read up until I think. It was like page like 150 or 60. Like last night, it said I'd read about 27% of the books. So I'm about a quarter of the way through. I should have a couple thoughts. Um, like I said, I want to like just go over it again. I loved how we just jumped right into like all the action. I, another book that did this really well was The Serpent and the Wings of Night. I think it's showing that in fantasy, we don't always need like all the complex world building. And I get like in a lot of books, it is very important to set the scene, especially in like a book that's going to be a series to like really make sure we understand what's gonna, like going on. Um, however, this one, like, Sometimes you can learn by doing, and they can, like, learn by showing, and I think they're doing that so well in this book, and, like, I've just dived right in, and you're learning things as you go. I find that so much more helpful and, like, so much nicer than, like, if we had started off with Violet, like, a month before she went, like, all the lead up, right? Like, I, I really prefer this way. Something that I kept seeing about the book on and on and on was that people kept saying, like, how every other page mentions she's tiny, like, our main character, and I that is happening and I'm kind of like we get it like and I get it's like her being small is like obviously like a huge part of this because it's a very like physical training all that stuff but still I'm like hey we get it and then I have the worst news ever because um what's hilarious is Rachel Catherine just did this in her reading vlog the other week too and she read Once Upon a Broken Heart I have avoided spoilers for this book for literally like five six months however long it's been out for um and I was scrolling on TikTok last night and there was one of those posts where, you know, like, when it's a picture, it's, like, me reading a sad book. And you scroll again, and it's, like, them just, like, being neutral. And it's, like, 
you know, me doing whatever. And then you scroll and it's like them bawling about something. Um, there's no spoiler warning on this post, may I add? People who don't put spoiler warnings, stop. The last slide, it had something on it that I read. Um, and I'm 99% sure it's a spoiler for this book. Because I'm pretty sure in the comments it said something about Fourth Wing. Um, but the thing is, it says something about something. I'm not spoiling anything. It says something that happens to a character. And it said the character's name. I don't think we've met that character yet. If it is Fourth Wing. But if this is what happens at the end of the book that has everybody's like jaws on the floor freaking out, I will lose my mind. That I literally avoided spoilers for that long. And then the night I start the book, I see one. So I'm really, really hoping it's not what happens at the end of the book, but I may have got a pretty big spoiler. But yeah, that's where I'm at now. Um, I'm on my lunch break now, and then I finish up my one job at 4 and then start at the studio at 5.30. So I'm probably going to read for like another hour in my car again. So I'm going to have probably more clips in my car. Um, then I'll update more tonight on how it's going. But yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I did not get a chance to update last night, but I'm now 47% of the way, I believe, through Fourth Wing. Um, and we definitely hit, like, a turning point yesterday. I can't say what it was. I'm trying to find what chapter it was on for you guys. Chapter 15. The ending of chapter 15, um, I feel like no matter how much I'm enjoying a book, I don't really ever feel invested until there's, like, one thing that, like, really makes me care about the book I'm reading. And that definitely happened in that chapter. Like, I read it, and I was like, oh my gosh. And then, like, now I'm, like, super invested in it. But I will say I'm not sure on a rating yet just because I'm one of those people where I don't choose a rating until the last like 10 to 20 percent of a book just because the endings really make or break a book for me um but I'm really enjoying it I'm super invested like so I'm about halfway through I do work for 13 hours today so <laughs> I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to read today or probably late at night if I can so I might not update again until tomorrow but I'm really enjoying it friends i haven't updated since two days ago i'm just like sitting on my floor also don't mind me look kurt's here it's kind of cute um i am now this is saying 60 percent of the way through fourth wing let's just touch on a couple of things because we're getting some good stuff so first of all um we've now met the character who that spoiler was about um and i'm just so mad if you are going to spoil a book please put spoiler warnings in your even caption even the caption in big bold letters please I, I'm so mad that I literally made it like six months that anything is both than the time I started, done. So don't be that person. Our first little interaction with the love interest and I am obsessed. I do love the nickname. At first when I heard it, I kept thinking it was stupid. Like people kept being like, oh, he calls her violence. I was like, but now I'm kind of here for it a little bit just cause now I get the story and I'm more invested. It is Saturday by the way. Just so you know, um, and I have a pretty full day. I have like two family Thanksgivings today and I'm only 6% of the way through the book, but I'm really kind of hoping I can finish it today. That'd be fun, we'll see. <laughs> is the next morning i wasn't gonna update again until i finished the book because i think i have like 75 pages left and it's like 86 percent of the way through but then the chapter i was reading just finished and she literally says my life is about to change forever and i just feel like we had to quickly make sure we film all these next couple reactions and get ready for this ending because i feel like it's gonna hurt because the spoiler that i saw still has not happened 
So I think it's happening at the end of the book and I don't want it to happen. I'm not ready for it, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I can probably finish this in the next like 45 minutes or so. I'll make sure to film my reactions because I'm really, really scared for this ending. So I don't have a definitive star rating for it yet because like I said, the ending typically makes or breaks a book for me, but it definitely is at least a four star, like for sure. Um, we're gonna see how where it falls in between there. I haven't gotten any like super big five star feelings yet, so we'll see, but I am really enjoying it and I'm just like really, really nervous and scared for this ending. I'm, I'm not ready, but wait, it's pushing about 45 minutes to read and then I'll check back after, so with all my thoughts. Bye. like my official wrap up thoughts let's get into it first thing i'm very happy to report that the thing i had spoiled for me was not the big reveal at the end which i'm so so grateful for and very happy that it wasn't um i did not see the ending coming until i think like five or ten pages before the very end of the book um without spoiling anything she said something about how like she recognized something or something was familiar and i was like it's gonna be that and it was. So I was very, very proud of myself for guessing five pages before, but I still did. Overall, it's just one of those books that reminded me like why I love to read. It was just such like an easy beginner friendly fantasy that was still super consuming and like super detailed and interesting, but not like too hard to comprehend or get into. Um, and it was just such a fun read. I'm still torn on a rating. I keep going back and forth between 4.5 to a 5. I didn't get like any super big five star feelings but the more i talk about it the more i think about it i think it just might be one like i i finished it like two hours ago but like the more i talk about it and the more i think about it i'm like might be a five i'm very happy i waited to read when i did because the sequel actually comes out a month yesterday so i only got like 30 more days of waiting i think i can maybe do it i'm also really excited that now i can go through and see all the spoilers like i can go on tiktok now and actually just watch every single video that i see um, because I said that was a big thing for me before, so now I get to actually just, like, enjoy those. Like, when I think I finished Throne of Glass, I literally spent, like, hours on TikTok scrolling and finally looking at all the fan art and just spoiling everything for myself. Um, and so I get to do that with this now, and I'm very, very excited. I'll finally make a companion reading vlog for Iron Flame that comes out as well, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm also on TikTok at Angel's Book Corner, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!